Hello and welcome to the free Oscar training video series by OscarHost.ca. My name is Jordan Visco, and in this uh, quick video, we're going to do a web demonstration of the Oscar interface. Uh, should take probably 20 to 25 minutes, uh, depending on how quickly we can get through it. Um, but when you log into Oscar, this is uh, the original screen that you see here. This is the appointment screen. And uh, I have my appointment screen set up so that I have three providers showing in my group. Uh, you can see I have my group selected up here and I have the physicians group that I'm viewing. If I want, I can select an individual physician and I can just go see their schedule. Or I can go uh, back to my physicians group and, and see all three and I have the physicians group set as my default schedule. Um, right now I'm viewing all providers in this group. Uh, there's three, Ian Medic, John, and myself. And if I click this schedule view button it goes to only providers who are on schedule today if I click back to view all it uh, views all uh, providers and you can see that the little numbers here beside the times um, if I hover over them they tell me what those appointment slots are for and so the, the ones mean it's a 15 minute appointment and the L's mean uh, I'm away for lunch and you can see John here doesn't have a, a schedule set uh, and Ian does. So if uh, on the top left hand side of the Oscar screen uh, there's a today button and you can scroll around the days here with the little left and right uh, red buttons and if I click today it zips back to today's schedule view and if I want to view all physicians again I click the little view all button up on my top right and I get to see everyone. Uh, to see an individual provider's week schedule you can click the W and it shows a, a nice week view of my schedule there. Can click back. If I click the little radio button beside um, a provider's name, I get a nice view called a flip view, and it shows me with the days down the side um, the schedule for that provider and uh, when his availabilities are. So um, I can see easily a month ahead, and uh, when I book an appointment, uh, it turns blue, so I can see where my available appointments are. So we'll go back now. So to book an appointment in Oscar, um, you just need to click a time slot. And uh, this is the appointment booking window. You can um, click not book here, and um, it'll fill that time slot with do not book. Or you can type whatever you want into the last name block here. And uh, it'll book an appointment that's not associated with a patient. But to book a patient associated appointment, you can just type in a name. Um, so I can type in mouse and uh, do a search and it'll search for anyone with mouse or if I leave it blank and just click search it'll search the whole database for all of our patients and then you can go through and select the right one so um, let's choose Captain Hook we'll book an appointment for Captain Hook you see his name shows up there now that I've selected it and his demographic ID number shows here uh, that's all you have to do to book an appointment I can click add appointment right now and uh, I can add it if I want I can add a reason in there um, and I can add notes here um, if I wanted to add that to an appointment as well. You can also change the duration if I wanted a 30 minute appointment I could book it there as well. Um, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Click add appointment and it shows up here. Um, if I click on the name of the patient it opens up the appointment again and I can change the status. So right now the status is to do um, if I printed out a day sheet for today, all the appointment statuses for today would change to day sheet printed. If uh, a person arrives, I can change the status to here, and I can change the status to uh, they've been picked and put in a room, or the room's empty and they've left, and I can customize a bunch of statuses so I can set this up however I'd like. You can also choose no show, cancelled, and, and uh, after you bill them, uh, the, the appointments turn to a build status and then you can run reports on um, how many no-shows you're having or um, uh, who hasn't yet been billed. Um, so you can select those statuses right from here or if you want uh, you can just click the little icon on the left of the uh, appointment and it'll cycle through the statuses. So now I've cycled to the next status which is day sheet printed. If I click again it cycles through the status so that now they're here in the office. If I click it again now it says that uh, they've been picked and if I click it again it says that they, the room is now empty. So um, that's an easy way to, to um, cycle through the statuses there and if you choose the right statuses everyone in the practice can, can know um, where all the appointments are at so it's a good way to maintain that office communication. Um, beside the um, 
patient's name there, there's a few links. So E links to the encounter screen, which is the main chart. Uh, B links to the billing screen, which is um, to bill the patient. M is the master file, or the main patient demographic record. And Rx is a prescription module to bill that patient. So if I go, um, if I want to go to the patient's master file, I can get there a few ways. I can click right here, or I can search through our patients here. And uh, if I'm searching through the patients, I can search by name, address, phone number, insurance number, uh, their date of birth, or uh, a chart number if I've tagged them with chart numbers. And uh, the way that we search in Oscar is last name, comma, first name. So um, I'll just leave it blank for right now so we can see all the patients in here. I don't have a ton of patients in this database. So um, yeah, you can see here are the patients that I have. Um, on the left hand side are their demographic numbers. If I click the demographic number that takes me to um, their master file. If I click E it takes me to the encounter or charting screen and Rx again prescriptions. So let's go view an, uh, a master demographic for Eric Clapton. Um, you can see here down the center of the page this is where all the demographic information for this person is uh, set. I can edit this and edit any of the information that's in here. You can see a lot of it's not filled out. It's not required in Oscar to have um, full demographic information filled out for each patient. All you really need is a first name, last name, and a date of birth uh, in order to add a new demographic. Um, if on the left hand side of the screen here I have uh, an appointment history so I can view all appointments that uh, Eric Clapton has ever had. Uh, I have some links here to the billing screen. I can see all their invoices they've ever had. I can create a new invoice for them here. Uh, here are some links to the clinical modules, um, so different parts of the chart, and then here are some links to the clinical resources for adding documents and adding e-forms um, to a patient's chart. Um, and you can do it right from here if a person hasn't doesn't have access to a, a patient's chart. Um, so to add a new demographic, there's a link down on the bottom of the page here, create a new demographic. And if I click that, again, a very similar page opens up and I can go through and fill this out and it, it'll create a, a, a demographic record for this patient uh, just by entering the last name, first name, and date of birth. So uh, the next part I'd like to show you is the encounter screen. So again, you can access it from here or from a patient's demographic file or from the search screen. But we'll do it from here right now. So this is a, a patient's chart. Um, there's a few parts to it. So this main part here is your main uh, note taking. And um, this is where your encounter notes will go. So I'll create a new note for today. And uh, it's just very text-based noting. So I can just uh, start entering in what any, whatever information I want here. If you're using a dictation software, you can dictate right into this box. Um, or if you want, you can also use templates. There's tons of templates in Oscar, text-based templates. Uh, and you can create your own text-based templates to insert into your notes. And to access those, you just uh, start typing the name of the template right here. So we'll start typing abdom. Oh, and an abdominal pain note pops up. And it inserts this right into there. And then you can go through and answer all these questions. So there's tons of different uh, note templates available. Um, and you can see them all here. And uh, you can go through and edit any of them if you'd like to change them. And you can also add your own notes uh, by just giving it a name and uh, writing in some text here and then clicking Save. And then next time uh, you do a search um, for test, it'll show up here in this box. So it's pretty simple. Uh, once you've created your note, you can uh, save it or you can sign off on it um, as well. Uh, everything in Oscar has saves revision histories. So uh, once saved, um, like this one right here, you can see this one has a revision history of six. If I click on the little six beside the revision history, it shows me all the edits that were ever made to that particular note. So it keeps a, a good running tab of that. Um, so that's the note taking. Uh, in Oscar, you'll he hear people refer to it as the toilet roll. And um, so this is your Oscar toilet roll here. On the left hand side, um, there's a preventions module on the top left. Uh, this is where you're going to log your flu preventions or your H1N1 vaccines that you're giving to patients uh, here. Um, the tickler is the next section in orange. 
Um, it's like a reminder system in Oscar. You can um, set a reminder to call for checkup. So this patient has a reminder to call for checkup on the 27th of December. Uh, so on the 27th of December, when I log in to my Oscar, um, this tickler link here is going to show red, and there'll be a one beside it, and it'll let me know that I have a tickler that uh, that needs to be dealt with, and uh, uh, it'll show red here as well, and it'll just keep bugging me in red until until I've uh, completed that tickler. Um, the next thing is uh, disease registry. You can associate a patient with a disease, um, and it uses ICD-9 coding. So, in order to do that, um, you just come here and you can type in the name of a disease, like diabetes and click enter and then you can select which one um, uh, works with that and you can see I've uh, already associated this patient with a number of different diseases and uh, the reason that we do that is um, you can search later on if you'd like uh, through your patients by diseases they, that, that they might have if a new medication comes out um, or if there's uh, information you need to give to patients with certain diseases. Also, they pull up flow sheets, um, so the diabetes disease pulls up the diabetes flow sheet here that we can go through and take measurements on. And uh, it also affects the billing program in some ways as well. So if a patient is associated with a disease that you can uh, bill extra for, um, it'll let you know that as well. Uh, forms are um, forms that have been deeply integrated into OSCAR. Um, and so those are things like uh, birth summaries, um, antenatal records I have here, I have a RORC form in there. Um, there's about 30 or 40 different forms that you can add into your OSCAR instance. Uh, and they look like this. So um, they're computer generated forms that uh, mimic paper forms and uh, save information into OSCAR. And they can pre-fill information from patient's demographics and you can run reports on information that gets entered into these forms here. Um, E-forms are similar to forms but they're they're less tightly integrated into OSCAR so if you have any uh, PDF documents uh, or if you have any documents you're currently collecting information from patients on paper and you like to do it electronically uh, you can create an E-form for that. And there's hundreds of E-forms available on the OSCAR Canada website and uh, so here's an example of one. It's a life lab requisition. It's just a, a scanned in form uh, by life labs that someone has gone and overlaid HTML text boxes over top of and uh, pre-filled them with information uh, like the patient's name and address and date of birth uh, for easy filling out and then you can go through and select the test that you want go to the bottom and click print and submit and uh, you can give that to your patient to um, uh, go to the lab test go get a lab test done so those are e-forms and again it can be anything uh, that you currently are collecting on paper that you'd like to create a electronic form for. Uh, the next section is documents. Uh, documents are uh, any type of scanned in document um, that you don't c collect electronically or you don't have an e-form for to collect electronically so um, you can upload uh, labs if you'd like, you can upload radiology, pathologies, you can upload old charts. If you want to scan in old charts, you can upload photos of uh, people. Um, say if you're tracking a disease over time or tracking progress of a child, uh, you can do that with photos here as well. And they just get added right into the pa patient's chart and the more you have, the more rows you get here. Um, Oscar Messenger, uh, there's a messaging system in Oscar and you can access it here. Um, if you have a message waiting, this will show red and it'll show the number of messages beside it and uh, you can associate a message with a patient. So here if I click the little plus, um, right now it wants to send a message. I can choose who I want to send a message to. I can send it to a group of, doc uh, a group of users or I can send it to an individual user. Um, you just give it a subject and a message and this message is going to be associated with this patient. So not only will it show up in uh, David Chan's inbox, it'll also show up um, here on the patient's chart. Um, measurements are what it sounds like, measurements of a patient. Um, when you get lab results done, measurements from the lab result uh, automatically flow in here. Um, you can set up your own flow sheets as well if you'd like. Here's a diabetes flow sheet that is uh, auto-created into OSCAR. And you can go through and you can fill out patients' blood pressures, heights, weights, BMIs, 
and uh, all the information um, down the page. Um, you can create consultations right within Oscar. So uh, if I wanted to create a consultation letter, I'll show you what one looks like. Um, you select your service, you select your consultant that you'd like to send it to. Um, you can set all of your preferred consultants up within the uh, consulting tab here of Oscar. Um, and your patient's information flows right into here. Uh, you can give it a reason for the consultation. You can insert pertinent clinical information. Uh, so you can insert information from a family history, medical history, ongoing concerns, and all that flows in from these areas here on the patient chart. Uh, you can do the same thing with uh, significant problems and you can uh, insert medications here. Current medications uh, already flow in from the medication section I'll show you in a sec. Uh, so then at the bottom you go uh, update or save and print preview and uh, this is what the consultation letter looks like. You click print at the top, you have that uh, print button um, save a PDF to your computer and then you can e-fax it off um, to the clinic that you'd like it to go to. Um, or if you uh, set up a fax server in your office you can actually have the print button here um, automatically sent to the fax machine. Uh, so that's consultations. Uh, on the right hand side here we have allergies and prescriptions. Um, I'll show prescriptions. Allergies are basically an allergy to, to a particular prescription prescription medication so it's uh, very similar. If I click the plus there uh, I can start typing in the name of a drug so I'll type in aspirin and uh, I'll select the drug that I want. Um, you can customize um, the method, root, frequency, um, all this information here. Um, you can also add it to your favorites so on the left hand side here you can add a list of all your favorite drugs so for easy prescribing and uh, then you click save and print and it prints out a nice little prescription with your letterhead on it um, to give to the patient. And then when I reload the chart, the newest medication that they're on shows at the top here. And uh, if they're currently on the medication, it'll show here, and it keeps an archive of all the medications um, down the page here. Uh, other medications, uh, risk factors, family history, medical history, reminders, ongoing concerns, social history, all of these blue boxes are simply text uh, notes that you can put in. So if we wanted to add another medication, um, say that uh, they are taking gravel twice a week, and we click save it just uh, shows there. And you can go through and you can edit any of these notes at any time. And uh, the good thing about doing it in this way is that we can uh, run reports on uh, keywords that might be in social history so we could find all all uh, all social history, um, all patients with a social history that have uh, kids in their um, in their text or you could run a report uh, on other medications to see um, who might be doing homeopathic medications or whatever that may be. You can also pre-fill forms and pre-fill consultation letters with information that you've put in these uh, sections. Um, so that's the patient chart here. Uh, the next thing I'd like to show is the billing system. So from Oscar there's a few different ways you can bill. You can bill from a master file um, or a patient's detail record by clicking create invoice here or you can bill from an appointment and uh, you just do that by clicking the B. Uh, when you do that it prefills in the service date, uh, it prefills in the the billing physician based on which physician was doing that particular appointment. Um, this These service codes that are showing here are set up um, are showing because of the billing form I have selected and you can customize your billing form uh, however you like to have it uh, show whatever you want. So right now I'm viewing the general practice form but if I wanted I could change and go to an obstetrics form or I could go and change to a psychiatry form um, and there's a number of different forms as you can see set up within Oscar and you can customize these however you'd like. So go back to the general practice one um, in order to bill, you just need to choose a service code. Um, you can select them here, or you can just 
type it in here. Or if you can't remember what it is, you can actually type in the name and click enter and it'll do a search for um, the service code that you're looking for. Select it, click confirm, and it slides in there. Uh, you can enter diagnostic codes. Uh, you can do a search again if you'd like, or you can click this little link here and it'll show a list that you've selected of um, diagnostic codes that you currently use a lot. So select that one. Um, on the right hand side here will show uh, all of your recently used uh, billing codes. Um, so once you use Oscar a lot, it, it uh, is very helpful here to have uh, your recently used diagnostic codes. So once you have a diagnostic code and you have a service code that you're going to bill for, you can click continue and it creates your bill like this and you click save and that's all that uh, you need to do. Now on the appointment there's a check mark showing and that check mark means um, that this patient or this appointment has been billed for and the, the uh, appointment turns blue as well. So once you've done a whole bunch of these you can go to the admin screen and uh, you can send off your bill to Teleplan and you do that by going down to the billing and going to generate Teleplan file. You click that and uh, you can create your report and it says that there's one claim to send and uh, if this was hooked up with Teleplan it's just a test instance, it's not. All I'd have to do is click send and uh, all my bills that I had generated would uh, automatically get sent off to Teleplan. Uh, so that's for billing in BC. Uh, if you're in other provinces, um, for instance Ontario, uh, your billing module will look something like this and uh, it's very similar as well. Your, your diagnostic code goes up here, um, your service codes go here, you select which ones and then you click next and uh, you create your bill this way. Uh, this is for an invalid patient so it's uh, not going to let me go through but um, it's the same sort of thing just a d different system and instead of connecting to Teleplan you have to generate a no hip file and then submit that uh, by modem. Um, so the other um, important thing with Oscar that I'd like to show you is the uh, lab reporting system. So um, that's your labs come in under the inbox tab here. So if you click inbox, it pops up like this. I don't have any labs showing for me, but if I do a search for all providers, uh, you can see a whole bunch of lab reports here. Uh, if I click on the patient's name, the lab report comes up and uh, you can see it here. Um, lab reports that are yellow have not yet been associated with a patient. So if I click on this one, um, it tries, it searches for Old McDonald in, in uh, my database and doesn't find any patients that match. So if I delete that and click search, it'll search for, search through all the patients and I can click one to assign it to, but I'm going to leave that one unassociated at the moment. Um, so the physician who it's assigned to can go through and acknowledge that this exists and once it's been assigned to a patient it actually adds right into their chart. So if we go back to Captain Hook here and I go back to their encounter screen, um, you can see on the left all the lab results are showing here and I can click to view any of them uh, really easily. So when a new lab report comes in for a physician, again their inbox here will show red and it'll show beside it how many uh, labs are in their inbox that they need to take care of. And uh, right now mine's empty, but again if I do a search for all providers, I can uh, see all the lab reports here um, that uh, are in the system. And they stay here until they've been acknowledged. Uh, lab reports in red means that there's something abnormal uh, that needs to be looked at in that lab report. So those are uh, most of the features of Oscar that I have uh, to go through today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and found it useful. Um, if you're looking for more information, you can go to the oscarcanada.org website and uh, learn more about Oscar there. Or you can go to oscarhost.ca and uh, learn more about our company. Um, thanks again.